Mantella wheat is revolutionary. Why waste time with brewing when you can do so much good and make so many more credits? If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. That's for sure. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Well, there is. The stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelluit, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. I can't pretend it wouldn't benefit my family if we develop Intelluit. But you're wrong. This is about what's important for everyone. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough he might be forced to throw in the towel. What? Oh god, no. I just want it to taste bad. Like stale, or like it's whatever makes beer taste worse. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. lady and we can make it. Seen it myself. 
myself. I'm Annie Wilcox. You're new in town, aren't you? That means I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Is it? Or are you just saying that? See? I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made-up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me, so it's official. I'm the best Ranger Surveillance Assistant that ever lived. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. Gotta prepare the next generation, cause I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? That's the right answer. I just hope you mean it. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. And ranger surveillance assistance. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. my ranger patrol one day, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed, and he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. I've checked back regularly with Mr. Sneed. Well, up until he told me I'm trespassing. And he said their new inventory system keeps, um, hiccuping. But it's no hiccup, it's robbery. This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights. For like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure, he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. I'm just saying, we don't know the side effects of grab jumping. Maybe they really did see a snake. Hey, if you want to join House Maroon, no one's stopping you. I'm not it's saying. Different. The remarkable snake is real. If we started just the Next stop wouldn't be the Gribdi system, would it? You got a report of a distress call out there.
Star sometimes spotted by the farms. Why we only use robots outside the wall. I'm so screwed. What? Uh, shit. I, uh, yeah? I, I won't. Oh, God. This can be happening. Oh, God, no. Security. Everyone, don't move. Don't anybody move. Let's see. <laughs> if it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? I kind of always thought she was a pest. But now... I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. And, uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. Actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? I carefully prepared this death pamphlet. All's my seat. Let's talk. When you have time. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest <gasps> Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. She'll be a terror. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. You got him, right? Right? I knew it. Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait. So that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I, um, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? I, oh boy. I, Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. Next time, security is gonna take me seriously. Hey, deputy. You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old fashioned fun. It's been well, therapeutic. Well, the fact is, you've had my back countless times already, and without you, I'd be exploring some random world alone, not realizing how much that bothered me. That's just a fact. Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now, but I'm going to need your help. My contact sent a gift. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance tons of money. The missing piece here is proven that Irvin was framed. 
So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law, and she'll look over everything we've found. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Damn right we are. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. You're as reliable as an atomic clock. I've sent a list of everything we've found so far to the lawyer on Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel optimistic about this. Lead the way, detective. Ellie is still taking names and holding people accountable around here. I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. Oh, you remind me of him sometimes, wanting to make things right. And when you said it out loud, you know, I actually believe we can do it. I just hope our lawyer is as confident. Right. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Urban's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. Been to Clint's recently? He get crushed under all that crap. The best cereal is Chocolate Labs. Ships on the Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> 
You're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. Yes. It was my first case as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago. And they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here on Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. He was publicly blamed for the economic woes, and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we've found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Makes sense to me. You've been hanging on to that old apartment this whole time, Barrett? Yeah, it was easier to not bother with it. Not like it's worth anything in this economy anyway. I hope you still have the key. I have it. Figured maybe I'd sell it while we were here anyway. May as well, right? Hopefully, that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. I hope it's worth our time, but I can't be sure. Irvin's old apartment.
Have you heard about space fraud? I probably never intended for these walls. Hammond's old apartment. Here, use this key. After you, Captain. Now I get why he wanted me to look after his plants. No windows. Insufficient power for proper lamps. Oh, he must have been miserable. <laughs> no wonder he wrote so much. Wait a second. What about this safe? I bet it's locked by a terminal. Well, I'll be. <laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along 20 years later. Ha! Ah, will you look at that? If we go to Town Hall, I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Hold on. Is that what I think it is? There's gotta be a way to look up applications. Let me see. 
No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. All right, we've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. Much better than liquid or gas leads. That much is evident. Ah, it was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but nothing. Hmm. <laughs> What's that you have there? A plant? Well, it looks like one of Irvin's experimental plants contained in an even more experimental habitat dish. <laughs> Remarkable. Irvin always fancied himself an inventor as well as a botanist. Witchcraft, probably. But if you want a more scientific explanation, I have a couple of theories. It could go through states of hibernation or draw moisture from the air the way epiphytic plants do. There's also that habitat dish Irvin set up for it, which gave it light and nutrients. Still, I'm not ruling out witchcraft. I'm not sure. It might not even be a plant. It might technically be a fungus. But there's probably a reason why Irvin tried his best to keep it alive. When we get back home, I'll go through some of his research notes. It might tell us something more about this plant. Hopefully it's not poisonous. No, maybe not. But it helps me. Irvin was the last person to handle this plant. It mattered to him. No matter how the case goes, this warms my heart. I didn't expect to find it, but I love that I did. In any event, I'll go through Irvin's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, <laughs> on that note, we should give it a name. I'm thinking something simple yet refined. What do you think of Harvey? Then it's unanimous. Okay. The three of us should get back to it. You, me, and Harvey have a case to solve. Access computers. I've got you ever read about the early history of space flight? So familiar. So familiar sometimes. There's a boundary computer. Let's see if there's any way to search the database. You from off world? If you like your destinations hot and dusty, Gagarin's got you covered. Heaven, I knew I shouldn't have locked eyes with you. Dang it. What do you... Friend, I don't get paid to chit-chat about work. 
That information is confidential. I'd like to think so. So listen, you can use my employee passcode to access that foundry terminal over there. I'll just say I lost it somewhere. Impressive. Next time I'm going to take a nap on top of a building. Nobody ever looks up there. This look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. Just a job, right? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, right? I guess we'll see what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. We just won't know until we get there. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. You're back. Well, what did you uncover? We got it from town hall and everything. It's the real deal. I see. This sort of thing works well for the narrative of our case, but we will need more evidence to bring it to a judge. We're on it, Ellie. Don't worry. Well, I like the sound of that. Okay, now that is a solid lead. Well, don't let me stop you while you're on a roll, detectives. We can talk more later. Careful. This place was shuttered 20 years ago.
all yours. Whoa, looks like they left a lot of stuff intact when they shuttered this place.
if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? This looks promising. This looks like an illustration.
All right. Now let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations. Well, they don't need it now. was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with urban. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see.
carrying a lot. Do you want to take a moment to shuffle things around?